Hello fellow fragrance lovers, it's Sunday today. I've been doing my hair, so I've got a hair mask on that I'm just letting uh, soak in. I hope that you're doing well today. I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video. It's a get ready with me and a perfume story video. Uh, by the way, my name is Hila. I'm crazy about fragrances. And if you love fragrances, then please do hit that subscribe button. And today I just wanted to share with you um, a very fascinating thing that happened to me yesterday, actually. Uh, whilst I get ready. So it's Sunday today. I don't wear foundation, something like four days of the week. So it's a no foundation look and it's a nude look. That's what I feel like wearing um, today. So let's talk about this perfume story, okay? It's uh, really quite funny because yesterday I was working in the garden. So as some of you may or may not know, I'm always banging on about how much I love gardening. Uh, please ignore my nails. I was in the garden yesterday, so they're quite chipped and I'll be doing my nails after I've done my face. But so I spent hours in the garden and there I was getting all sweaty because it got really hot here in England. And in the morning, I was thinking, oh, OK, I'm going out into the garden, so I don't want to wear um a super heavy perfume or anything like that. I just want something, you know, something that I'll be able to smell, something that's got um, strong, you know, it's got a strong waftiness, you know, it's got the waft factor where I don't have to put nose to wrist. And so I was wearing Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy, which was all well and good. Um, and that was fine. So I spent like hours uh, with it and then I got really sweaty. And then around four o'clock, it was time for us to get dinner ready. And so we had to go to Aldi. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows, you know, just to make them, you know, just frame my face just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm using an eyeliner that's so old, I no longer know what the name is. But so we went to Aldi and I didn't have time to shower. I wanted to shower, but my husband was like, no, we got to go. We got to go. So then we went to Aldi and I was dressed. I was like wearing my gardening attire and I was really, really, really stinky. Imagine the smell of like, you know, sweat, like proper hardcore sweat mixed in with the smell of Viva La Juicy. And it wasn't pleasant and I didn't look good. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just put a mask on, but we got to go. We have to get the sour cream um, thing. So we're shopping, right? And, oh, I catch a whiff, whiff of this uh, smell. I'm like, what? what is that beautiful smell? And I ignore it as I keep walking, right? So I'm walking down the first aisle. And then, you know, I, I come across it again as I'm near the, the tea's aisles. And I was just like, oh my days, that smells amazing. And I was like sniffing around, trying to follow it, trying to find it. And then I managed to find the woman who had it. And I was just like, wow, it was a warm, oriental, soft, woody um, smell to it, but it was so intoxicating and so alluring. And I had to get up the courage to go and ask her what she was wearing because I was like, just walk away, you're, you're stinky, you're, it's just going to be embarrassing. But then I was just like, man, and then I tried walking away, but the smell, but then I caught another waft of the smell of her perfume and I was just like, I have to know what that fragrance is. I have to know what that perfume is. Okay, so now I'm just using Max Factor to just, I, I just like to do just from here to there on the eye line and then just on the upper lash, just up to there, just, just to make the eyes pop a little bit. <laughs> so there I am debating in my mind whether I'm going to go and ask this woman and how I should approach it without seeming crazy. And also bear in mind that um, this is COVID days, so we are social distancing, but I could still smell this through the mask, through the social distancing, but and it just smelled amazing. And my husband's like, well, what are you doing? Can we go? Can we go? And I was like, okay, go on, catch up. And so I went up to the lady and I was just like, excuse me, you know, from far away. She didn't hear me at first because, you know, mask kind of muffles you. And um, I was like, excuse me, um, I'm so sorry to bother you. But, um, 
I have to say, you, you smell divine. You absolutely smell divine. What is it? And then she said, oh, thank you. And I couldn't see her face because, you know, she's maxed over. But I think she was smiling. I don't think she was overly irritated by me asking. I was like, do you mind my asking what perfume it is? And she said, it's Penhaligon's um, How Fetty. And I was just like, oh, wow. And because of the masks as well, it was quite difficult to hear what she was saying. And I was like, Papetti? And she was like, How Fetty? And I was like, how setty? And she was like, how fetty? And I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. It smells so divine. And as we walked out, you know, this, you, you could still, and it had such a strong sillage because I, I had tracked her by smelling it. And it had wonderful projection because even though I was socially distanced from her, I was still in the orbit of the smell. And I just, I wanted to get closer to smell it on her, but it smelled amazing. And I'm just going to do some mascara. So I use La Roche-Posay because um, their tolerant mascara is great for sensitive eyes. I've got sensitive eyes uh, and I've tried different mascaras that kind of like really mess up my eyes. But this one's really good and it washes off so easily. It's not waterproof mascara. It washes off easily. So I like on my no makeup days, I just use the mascara on the tips. I don't go all the way to the bottom. I just do the... Do it this way just to get a little bit of definition around the eyes. You can see with mascara, without, but just on the tips. I don't go all the way down. It's just a little subtle. It's a nude look. But yeah, and she smells so beautiful. And there I was, right, standing there with the Viva La Juicy, the fruity floral. You know, there's nothing wrong with it per se. But it definitely didn't make me feel very sophisticated. And I felt like, you know, just the way that this woman was smelling, she was, it, it was just such a sophisticated, um, masterfully combined fragrance. It was just so beautiful. So I came back home and I looked up um, Pen Halligan's Halfetti. I actually tried looking it up in the car, but I'd run out of data on my phone, so I couldn't look it up. Um, so, but as soon as I got home, I looked it up. And apparently the top notes are cypress leaves, saffron, cardamom, artemisia, bergamot, and grapefruit. So obviously I didn't get the top notes because she must have been wearing it for quite a while. Because what I definitely got was the Bulgarian rose, the jasmine. And I definitely got um, the cedar, the sandalwood, and the vanilla because she just, you know, the, I think that the reason why I wanted to get closer to her, even though I couldn't because of the uh, socially distancing, was like the combination of the vanilla and the jasmine was just so amazing. So, yeah, that was my, um, you know, I was just like, oh, wow. So I've now found out that you can actually get the pen Halligans. You can select, I think you can get uh, up to three samples and they'll send them out to you. So I've been looking at the pen Halligans to see if I can actually get the samples. Okay, so the last thing is for my lip because I'm going for a nude. Um, as you know, I've had this lip liner for so long, I can't even tell what it is anymore because um, I very rarely wear makeup. So I just go like that I've never done this sort of video before so I'm kind of like do you look into the lens when they're doing it or do you look onto the camera okay and there we go there's that and for chill out Sundays, I like to use this Nude by Nature lip gloss because, uh, oh my gosh, it's so moisturizing um, for your lips. And I'll just pop that on. Because it's Sunday, I don't want to spend a huge amount of time removing my lips, you know, my uh, makeup. Because I take ages to remove my makeup. I'm so very thorough with it. But... There we go. That's my nude makeup look today, along with my perfume story of how I definitely learned yesterday that the type of perfume you wear can lend you a more sophisticated aura. And it is definitely worth having some of the, let's say the more expensive perfumes that do give that 
aura of, you know, sophistication, elegance, and poise that you don't necessarily get from the Viva La Juicy um, type of fruity floral thingy, which was fine for me when I was in the garden, by the way. It's like a really good gardening fragrance, you know, because you're constantly getting that lovely feedback from it. But I was definitely like, okay, I need to save up some money, get some samples and find myself a sophisticated um, grown-up fragrance because this Pen Halligan's Halfetti, it just smelled amazing on this woman. Now, I'm sensible enough to know that we've got different skin chemistry, so possibly it was working for her skin. And, oh my gosh, it's taking so much restraint for me to not just go and buy it and put it on. So I'm actually going to get the sample and try it on myself and see how I get it on. But the funny, the other funny thing is that I was banging on about this to my husband, right? In the car, and I was like, oh my gosh, did you smell, can you, did you smell that? Can you smell that? It's so amazing. And he was just like, no, I can't smell anything. And I just thought, so that's why I'm talking here about it because nobody in my real life gets it, absolutely gets it. But yeah, that's my uh, perfume uh, story wherein you realize that not all perfumes are made equal and that some perfumes are expensive for a reason because they are actually really, really good. What is my scent of the day today? Today I am wearing um, Trezor midnight rose because I wanted to feel like a lady because I have to do my nails and I'm doing my hair and I've done my makeup <laughs> okay um yeah so that's it guys thank you so much for watching it's always fun to talk about perfumes especially when you're crazy about perfumes and you're a perfume addict like I am and if you did enjoy the video then please do give it a big thumbs up down below if you haven't already please do subscribe I just love talking about, um, love to know if you have smelt somebody who smelled amazing recently and what was the name of that perfume? Did you buy the perfume in the end? Did it work for you? But yeah, I feel like, I feel like actually smelling someone in real life is a really good indicator of whether you might like a perfume or not you know currently we're in lockdown so the only way i can have of seeing if fragrances are good or not is you know the youtube uh community and if you're lucky enough to find a youtuber who's got a similar nose to you and whatever they recommend works then it's absolutely brilliant or it's fragrantica and you're reading people's things and um you know, there's a really great saying by, I think it's Catherine S. White. And it's basically kind of like saying that perfume is so individual because one person's um, stink is another person's heavenly divine thing. So, you know, it is wonderful, I think, when you do come across somebody who smells absolutely lovely and they tell you what the perfume is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.